Hi, welcome to the last part of this tutorial series, which is responsive HTML5 team development from scratch. And in this video, we're going to be creating a single blog page and we're going to style it accordingly. It won't be much different from this um, page if you remember from the first video. So back in our index.html here, let's just copy everything here and let's create a new file called single.html. And inside there, we're going to paste the whole content of what's in the index.html. Okay, so let's refresh this page here. And let's visit um, single.html in the browser at the top here. So let's say single.html. As you can see, it's exactly the same. But we're going to be removing these um, second and third posts. So let's do that quickly. As you can see, there's the blog post. There's another one. Let's just copy it, cut these two. Okay. So I'll refresh the page. As you can see, we only have one blog post. Let's remove this continue reading and the pagination links as well. So um, where's the continue reading? That's this link here. Okay. And the pagination links as well. Horizontal separator and the pagination links, they're all going. Okay. As you can see, this is what we have. All right, so normally a blog post has more than just an excerpt. It has more content like many um, P tags. So instead of saying blog post excerpt, let's create another div. We'll call it blog post content. Okay. And we'll just take this, move it in there. And we'll remove the class for this because we don't need to style it appropriately just like that. So we'll just duplicate this. As you say, uh, blog posts normally have many p tags in there. Okay, save this, refresh. As you can see, it has a really long um, text right now, but this doesn't look nice. We, normally, a paragraph you want them to be separated by spaces. So we'll go in our CSS file here, and at the top uh, where we're doing the resets. We'll just um, take a p tag and we'll give it a generic um, margin bottom of 16 pixels. So we'll come here and refresh that. As you can see, it has uh, more spacing and looks much nicer. Okay, but that's not enough. We'll take uh, the body tag and give it a line height. Um, you can put this any value you want um, as long as it looks nice to you. For me, I found out that normally is um, 1.4 rem. That works for me and when I refresh as you can see everything looks much nicer now okay I don't apply that to everything um, you have to be fiddling with this value here and whichever works for you um, sometimes even people just leave out the rem and just say 1.4 um, it behaves the same um, whichever you like whichever works for you um, as long as you're happy with it that's what matters okay so um, that's it for this tutorial video series and um, as I said in the beginning Probably if I have time, I'll be making it into a WordPress team and uh, I'll show you how to create a WordPress team from scratch. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I thank you for watching and staying with me all this while. I really do appreciate it. And everyone who's watching my channel, I appreciate all the views and um, all the comments and all the feedback I'm getting. So um, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.